going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video we got episode number 59 of the no money spent squad series season 5 is here we're ready to earn a bunch of free rewards and right before it expired we were able to win 100 house rules games to earn a free 96 overall let's go ahead and jump on into the episode now if you take a look at the content today with season 5 being live we got our level reset to number one if you try to go and play the Genki Force House Rules, it's going to say claim rewards. If you try to do that, you're going to get a server error. The reason this is happening is because it says the event ends on February 28th, which happens to be today. So if you didn't earn those last minute stars, there's really no additional way to do so. If you're looking for the Genki Force Field Pass because you never maxed it out, you're going to have to go over to your archive section and you will find it there. It's going to expire in a little bit over a week. There's no more season XP in here, so all the season XP rewards have turned into coins, and the star rewards are still in here, so you can earn them that way, but this has now made it difficult for all of you that were maybe trying to get one of those free 96 overall packs from the Genki Force Star Store. Uh, it's not going to be able to be done now, because you only get so many stars within this field pass, so yesterday, before all of this expired, we were able to win our final group of House Rules games to get enough stars to earn a free 96 overall. Overall, here's how it went. Two more! Two more, come on. Got him, got him. We might be able to end it on one play. Juke. Ah! The zone there, the zone there, the zone there. It should be a zone there. He threw that. And he caught it too. Oh my goodness. Same defense, same throw. Touchdown, let's go. All right, one more. One more W. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. Ah, I got a possession catch it. I think he tries to go streak on the right-hand side. Oh, the running back's wide open. Oh, that's a good play. Knockout, knockout. <sighs> good defense. Oh, I thought I had that one. Fumble. Fumble. Can I get one-on-one -on -one with Ridley over here? Oh, I can. I can, I can, come on, no knockouts, come on, come on, get up, get up, get up, come on, oh, that would have been a hell of a way to get my last win needed, we're knocking on the door here though, come on, knockout, pick, something, thank you, big play slay, big play slay, what, move, come on, all right, here it is, this has to be it, this is the play right here, that gets us our final win needed. I mean, it's set up freely for me here. Is he gonna use her over there? Nope. Come on, Ridley, let's go. There it is. I have no money, I have no clue on how many house rules games I won to get where I'm at. It was well over a hundred, but we have finally done it. I never want to play another tug of war house rules again. That was a lot, but on no money spent, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do to get those free cards sometimes. I'm not wasting any time. We're going right to the store. We're going right to star offers and we are buying this pack. Boom, boom. Heck of an animation too. All right, uh, kind of already made my decision on this one. I'm pretty sure that I am going with Jair Alexander. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play him as a slot cornerback with that 97 speed. So the star offers are still there. My 96 overall packs are not gonna be on the screen because I redeemed both of them. One in last episode, obviously one that you just saw. If you happen to have any stars left, you might wanna go out and spend them very soon. I'm talking before tomorrow when the combine promo drops because there's a good chance that these offers could go away. There's no countdown timer on them right now, but they could certainly go away and your stars could be, verted, could, could be converted over to coins and I don't know what that conversion rate would be. If you have any left and you can't afford the 96 overall packs, I would either go with the Jamal Williams upgrade tokens if you were trying to upgrade that player for free, though on the other hand, probably not a great idea because Derrick Henry is the feature player in the season five field pass and obviously he's a running back. So unless you're a Saints fan or a Lions fan, maybe stay away from that card. You can try the 84 plus packs. I would not waste it on the BND packs. So the 84 plus 70 star packs, the 89 plus packs are 160 stars. So you could go that route. And if you happen to need a hero, maybe for a champion set, 
93 overalls are still viable right now for weekly wild cards. I think with the combine promo tomorrow, we still see 96 overall champions, which means these 93s would go into those sets. I could be wrong there. That's just a hunch that I have, um, but I would definitely try to open it up on any of the non BND packs that are in here before those get turned into coins. So season five is officially here over on my main team where we got a God squad. The majority of the free players that come from season five, probably not gonna be worth it. But on this account, on No Money Spent, I'm sure a lot of you that rock a No Money Spent squad are feeling the same way. I like pretty much all the cards. The Keyshawn Johnson, not very good because he's a bit slow, but the starter pack is going to feature an 89 overall, I thought it was an 86, an 89 overall Derrick Henry, Right now, at running back, we have Jameer Gibbs. He's definitely going to get replaced by this free Derrick Henry as we start to level him up, which is always good news because that means eventually, you know, within the next week or so, I can probably sell off that Jameer Gibbs. Um, other than that, we don't really, like, we got this star pack that's a leftover reward from the Season 4 field pass. So let's go ahead and open it up. I don't really expect much. A 90 overall is not too bad there. Um, but other than that, we don't have any free packs to open because everything just got reset. And on Friday, we do have a brand new competitive pass on the way as well. Now, unfortunately, on the current competitive pass that expires in two days, in seasons past, there was XP rewards that you could carry over and apply to the new season. So the goal was to take this competitive pass XP that we got and get season five field pass rewards for it. Unfortunately, we can't do that. They changed it into coin rewards. So what I mean by that, like for example here is level 35 used to give you 30 35,000 season XP. Now it gives you 35,000 coins, which isn't terrible for a no money spent account. We could certainly use the coins, but the XP is not going to give us a nice little jump start on the season five field pass. Unfortunately, um, I did yesterday after we finish up those house rules games, I played a few Mutt champs games. I'm pretty sure we went three and oh. So over the next 24 hours, basically before the combine promo comes out, I'm going to continue to play on this account, try to at least get to five wins, basically see what we can get, you know, within the next two days before this expires and the new comp pass comes out, try to get as many free rewards and coins as we can from it. But at this point, the main focus is the season five field pass. So we know that we have that free Derrick Henry. He's going to be running back number one. Eventually early on, we're going to get this 93 overall Patrick Peterson at level four. He's not half bad at a 93 overall. He might be slotted at CB number four on the the current team right now after that Jair Alexander upgrade he's definitely not going to be in the top three cornerbacks and once we get to level 24 which with the new competitive pass and the combine promo coming out which will likely have a field pass that gives season XP in it as well level 24 might not be that far away I mean I'm not going to get it like this weekend but eventually I think this token will get Pat Pete up to a 95 overall so that's going to be very helpful for our secondary and we also have like I said that Keyshawn Johnson card this is probably my least favorite of the cards he might be good enough though to replace the kelvin ridley card that's on our team we'll show you the squad before we get out of here so for now we're just basically going to focus on knocking out this week one objective getting ready for the combine promo and earning xp within the season five field pass to earn whatever free packs and rewards we can get until the brand new competitive pass comes out on friday uh we did or we were able to earn that season five token exchange our, our token for the token exchange. So let's go ahead and apply that now. We're going to get that 20K XP on the season five field pass right off the rip. That ends up getting us to level three, which is going to unlock a gold player pack. Over on my main account, I knocked out my daily objectives and I think I got to level five or six. I can't remember. So that's certainly going to be possible on this account as well. Not bad for a gold player pack. I'm not going to get too mad at it. I'm sure this is all going to turn into uh, quick sell stuff or upgrades for some type of promo pack that's either out now or in the future but really that's it that's really all i got for this video let's go ahead and close it out and show you the squad really just wanted to update you on that free 96 overall we do have one more ap available on offense so it went from eight up to nine which means with Devonte adams specifically i could never afford it i think now we're gonna go ahead and put short out a lead on this card maybe i'll rethink that i i have high elevation passes i believe on havenstein and Jair currently to unlock their abilities. I could use the Evan Ingram, which is a BND card, but is it really?
really worth it? I don't think so. We might do it, but we might not. Um, so I'm going to leave the players or the, the setup this way and we'll figure out where we want to add that one extra AP that we now have available. But here is the offense. Uh, Devonta Adams has been a really, really good card here. The offense hasn't really changed since the last episode. Uh, here is the defense now with Jair added in. And I ended up going with pick artists and flat zone KO for a total of one AP on this card. The Super Bowl market or Super Bowl 95 overalls have certainly crashed due to season five. And we got that combine promo coming out tomorrow. A week from tomorrow, we have the team of the year promo, which is likely going to feature 97 overall champions. So we got to get back to working on our team of the week solos so we can make sure we get at least one of those team of the year cards for free. And with the 500 or a little bit over 500K that we currently have, um, we might go out and buy maybe one more 95 overall Super Bowl player since those are, at last I looked, they all seem to be down by uh, a little bit lower than 300K. So there's definitely a market crash. I'm probably about to go put together a video over on my main channel going over all the cards that are really, really cheap right now and worth taking a look at, but we could see them crash even further with the Combine promo and Team of the Year on the way. And just one other thing to point out, which we might jump into tonight as well over on Twitch, the Super Bowl head-to-head -head event, even though it says it was going to expire on February 15th, last I checked, it's still there. This is a great opportunity to make some coin and we could certainly use it on this account. So maybe we, we play through this event a little bit there to make some coin before the new comp pass comes out on Friday. So that's all I got. We'll see you on episode number 60 within the next couple days. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.